it's just deep. These races are deep. There's lots of fillies and mares that are absolutely treated like a grand final. We've got five races in Australia for fillies and mares that are Group 1. And this was the original one in terms of being Group 1. It's the longest of the Group 1s and the only one that has run under the handicap conditions. The other four are the Empire Rose and the Queen of the Turf, the Robert Sangster in South Australia and the Winter Stakes or Tats Tiara up in Queensland. So it's always been a terrific race. It's, a, it's like a mini Doncaster for fillies and mares, don't you think in, a, in many ways? It is and it's, it always throws up a very good horse when you think of Espiona who was able to take out the race last year under Michael D. Chris Waller who has also been able to place his horses to effect but you look at other leading trainers and Max Lees has had the five wins in the race game. Waterhouse has had five wins including one with Adrian Bot, Buck Cummings and Ron Quinton with the four. We know that Ron Quinton was very dominant with his two mares. Uh, Daisy Doom and of course Dixie Blossoms back in 2019 and 2018. We've had some beauties win at Emancipation went into the Hall of Fame uh, late last year but the one that stands out is Sunline. She won the race twice and she carried the grandstand when she won the race on both occasions, 60 kg. Would you think that uh, Sunline is a bit like Pride of Jenny who loves to roll up on speed that tough brawny you know, a, a little billionaire? Similar, a little similar but uh, not quite as brutal, but, but <laughs> similar. But uh, Sunline was something else again, wasn't she? But uh, no, that's an interesting comparison. But certainly, Vo Rogue's the one that sort of comes to mind in that period before Sunline. So four or five to come up. Richo, final thought from you for the Cornwall Classic, the Million Dollar Group One. Victorian Barbie's doll with Jerome Hunter. The other Victorian Barbie's fox in the darker green and black uh, checks there. Now this is Madame Pomery moving in, the barry at the blindfold on there to just try and keep her calm. She um, was very buzzed up in the gates here a couple of weeks ago. And here's Tropical Squall moving in, the surround stakes winner. She's drawn the outside barrier, looking for a third group one success, Tropical Squall. The light is on, uh, the Coolmore Classic field are ready to go. Zoo gotcha, barrier two, the heavily back favourite. Set now. Starter about to release the field and does so now. They're off and racing. Tropical Squall clearly best out from the outside draw. And she looks like making the running here from Revolutionary Miss and Jenny Lala pushing forward as Tropical Squall crosses down to the rails. They're followed by Denied Knowledge, Kamachi out deep, then Zugotcha settling sixth. In advance of Samana in the orange cap, further back to Yonsei in the early stages from Hinge. Then came Barbie's doll on the outside of Renaissance Woman, then followed by Hell Hath No Fury, Vienna Princess. More secrets back on the rails from Barbie's Fox, third last. Then Madame Pomery and Foxy Frieda's last of all. Tropical Squad led. Revolutionary Miss goes to second at the 800 metres. Jenny Lala with a sit on the inside of Deny Knowledge and Kamachi caught deeper out. They're followed by Zoo Gotcha, plonked down on the rails on the inside of Samana and hinged on a three-wide path with cover. Two lengths further back to Yonsei on the rails from Renaissance Woman. Barbie's doll hard at it out wide. Further back to Vienna Princess. More secrets as they straighten up now. And Tropical Squall looking for another Group 1 success. Revved up. Tropical Squall at the 300 from Revolutionary Miss. Who gotcha's out now closing off. Then came Kamachi. Samana winding up on the outside. Tropical Squall shows the way from Zoo Gotcha. Wide out is Samana running home hard and Samana moved up with Zoo Gotcha. They're wide apart. Zoo Gotcha near the inside of Samana. Zoo Gotcha. Zoo Gotcha got the Coolmore. Zoo Gotcha went at a neck to Samana and close up hinged and also Kamachi. Then Tropical Squall Jenny Lala. Further back Renaissance Woman from Yonsei. Foxy Frieda. Revolutionary Miss. Then more secrets. Hell hath no fury. Deny knowledge. Vienna Princess. Barbie's Fox. Madame Pomery. Zoo Gotcha. Yeah, Zagotcha, Noel Greenoff and their team and those colours. James McDonald wins a first Cornwall Classic, gets to 90 Group 1 winners, 90 Group 1 winners, and Chris Waller, 157. He hadn't won one until last year, Chris. He doesn't like only winning one of them. Great race. He rode her magnificently. He got the right runs. She was headed, no doubt, by Samana for a bit of the straight.
She was so strong under a big weight late. Oh, she was brilliant, wasn't she? I've never seen her look as good as she possibly looked today. And that was just a, a great ride, a great performance from a mare who is in terrific form. Spare a thought for second and third, though, Bruce. Yeah. Dylan Gibbons and Zach Lloyd <laughs> chasing down the big dog in town. And that's how it all ended up in the end. Both great performances. Samana was brilliant. So was Kamochi. I have to give it to Tropical Squall from that outside gate going across like that with all that energy that was burnt early on and still to be able to run in the top